Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we are trying out a brand new drugstore foundation and that is from the brand Profusion. I was inside Walmart the other day and I picked up this Profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector Foundation. This little beauty is infused with hyaluronic acid and SPF 15. It says it's going to provide a medium to full coverage and leave the skin with a natural satin finish. It is also cruelty free and vegan. In this little tube you get 1.01 fluid ounces of product and it retails for $7 in store at Walmart and on their website as well. Now there are only 12 different shades in this foundation. It needs some work guys. It really does especially on the darker skin tones. That's where it really is lacking in the shade range department. But we're going to test this out. We're going to give it a whirl today. We're going to see how it does on my 38 year old normal to oily skin. I'll be giving this a good 10 hour wear test today and I actually I have it on right now. I'm using the shade. I picked up Fair 3 Cool Pink, which is the second to lightest shade in this foundation. Now, I normally don't go for pink undertones in my foundation. I like to stick to neutral or yellow, but the next one up, which just had which had a yellow undertone, it just looked a little too dark for me. And I want to say, guys, what do you think? I think this is a pretty good shade match for me, even though it is a pink undertone. So we're going to try this out, guys. If you want to see this new Profusion Feel Good Skin Along With Skin Perfector in action, keep on watching. Now, it does say, it said on the website uh, for best application to either use your fingertips or to use a makeup brush. Um, I'm going to add, I'm going to add primer to half of my face and then no primer to the other half of my face. Where is my primer? All right, so for the left side of my face, I'm going to use the e.l.f. This is the Jelly Pop Primer, Dew Primer. This is actually one of my favorite primers. This is a very tacky primer, so I know it's going to really grip the makeup. That's why I like it. For the right side of my face, I just have my moisturizer on. And for moisturizer, I am using the uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. So let me try going in on the right side first while this one... I think I have a hair. Yes, I do. Guys, don't you just hate when you get like lint? And look, I have a pillow mark here. I just woke up. It's early in the morning, guys. I have to get ready for work. Today I am working from home, but I gotta be online early today. All right, so I'm gonna use um, my IT Cosmetics Love is the foundation brush. Let's start buffing that in. Wow, I like the coverage so far, and I actually don't think the shade is the bad match, even though it does have that pinkish undertone. I am gonna just like pat over it once I get done with both sides of my face with the damp beauty blender, just to make sure there's no brush marks or finger strokes or anything like that. All right, now for the left side, side that has a primer, I'm gonna use my fingertips. This does have a thicker consistency. Um, so I don't necessarily know that I would be using my fingers since a brush or even a beauty blender would be just fine. Probably the brush a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not really liking applying this with my fingers. I like doing finger application when it's um, a more watery consistency, like a serum-like, but this one, nah. And actually for my forehead, let me try, let me see what it's gonna be like with the, um, the damp beauty blender. I 
do like that it has the hyaluronic acid and the SPF because we need both of those things. Hyaluronic acid to draw in moisture or to keep in the moisture. And then of course the SPF to protect us. All right guys, so that is like one little, one pump, I guess it would be like maybe a pump and a half if it did have a pump of um, this Profusion foundation. From here, my skin looks great. Let me get my mirror. Please, it's laying down well in all of the areas. It's not like settling. It's not over accentuating anything. Mm, ignore the line here. I think I'm gonna have one on this side. Let me go ahead and add some concealer under my eye area. And I'm gonna do setting powder just on the left side of my face where I do have the primer. And that's the only place I'm gonna uh, put down some concealer. I wanted to see how the foundation is gonna perform on its own. Um, I am gonna set the concealer on both sides, but I'm only gonna like powder my T-zone down on the left side. And for powder, I'm using the Huda Beauty. Uh, what is this called? Sugar cookie. Well, everything seems to be playing nicely with one another. I'm really liking that natural finish to the skin that this foundation is providing. I just think it's wearing, like it went on really well. I really, really like it so far. All right, now I am gonna add my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm gonna do this all over my face. To me, it just helps everything just mesh well together. It doesn't necessarily set my face, it just, helps you know mesh everything <laughs> make them all one and I'll be wearing this for the next 10 hours today um, you guys know I'll be back throughout the day giving you all my periodic check-ins on how this new foundation from profusion this feel-good skin long wear skin um, perfecter foundation is going to hold up on my 38 year old normal to oily skin so I will check in with you guys a little bit later Hey guys, so we are four hours in with this Profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Foundation. Remember, this side is the one that has everything, the primer, powder, and all that, and then this side just has um, the foundation, <laughs> and then whatever, you know, other makeup I added on top of it. I have to say, I like the way it's wearing. It's been four hours. It's pretty good. I don't think I'm shiny or anything maybe just a little bit on the nose that's the first place that gets oily on me and I maybe if I'm really looking like right in here it's looking maybe like it's gonna break up a little bit but I mean I didn't powder this side or anything and I'm a normal to oily skin type I typically powder down my t-zone so really like the way it looks it's not settling into fine lines it's not accentuating my pores it's just laying really nicely on the skin and i'm really shocked with the shade because i got um fair three which is cool pink i don't know why i didn't see cool pink on the back of it i was just looking um in walmart on the uh the bottom for the shade name and if it said pink i wouldn't have bought it so no that was a mistake on my part but i actually think the shade looks pretty good i'm happy with it guys i like that it has the hyaluronic acid i just I am, i'm loving it so far it's doing good still has a few more hours to go though so i'll be back to give you guys a, another check-in hope you guys are staying safe having fun and i'll talk to you guys later Hey guys, so seven hours in with the new Profusion foundation. What are we thinking? I think so far it's doing a decent job. I will say that around my nose, it is starting to cake up on both sides and that's because my oils are starting to come through. But other than that, I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. I'm actually anxious to wear it again and just try it, you know, with my full on normal makeup routine. But this is a side without any of the primer or powder or anything like that. And then this side pretty much has everything. Um, as of right now, I'm not really able to tell a major difference anymore. Before I could, 
like around the four hour mark. But now that we've gone to seven hours, everything is starting to look as though it is exactly the same. Um, I'm getting a little bit of breaking up like right here on my chin around my mouth, which is always the first area that foundation starts to break up on me. But other than that, I think my skin looks good. I don't feel like I have excess oil. Um, maybe on this side, it has started to sink in just a little bit, like ever, ever so slightly in my smile line, but really not bad at all. Like, and at seven hours, it's barely starting to do that. So I'd say that's pretty good. And there was no powder on this side. So we're going to give it a few more hours. We're doing a 10 hour wear test today. I'll be back in a few hours to give you guys my final thoughts and to give you a final look at at this profusion foundation hey guys so we are now at the 10 hour mark of this new profusion foundation what do you guys think of how my skin is looking I, for one, am very happy. I'm really excited about this little foundation. Not only does Profusion make great, you know, colorful makeup, like eyeshadow palettes, cheek palettes, eyeliners, as you can clearly see from the one I'm wearing, they now make an awesome face product, a foundation. And I am really happy with the way my foundation has worn all throughout the day on both sides, guys. Um, this is the side with the primer, powder. This is the side with just the foundation. And of course, you know, my blush and bronzer and whatnot. But um, I have to say for not setting it and for me having um, normal to oily skin, oily mainly in my T-zone, I think it did pretty good, guys. It's not even breaking up that bad. Like the amount that it was kind of breaking up a little bit on the seven hour check in, it's pretty much stayed the same. And I just got done eating dinner. So I think it wore really, really well, both with and without primer. Just use your favorite products, guys. Um, use what primer works best for you or use a primer slash moisturizer like I did um, on this side with the uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Um, if you are used to powdering, powder down. But I really think you're gonna enjoy this foundation. And it's $7, guys. It's worth the try for seven bucks. I thought it provided beautiful coverage without accentuating any imperfections. It didn't settle into lines. It didn't accentuate my pores. It didn't make me uh, cakey, greasy, oily, none of that. It just, it wore really well. And that's like the best thing I can say about it. It looked nice over my pores. It looked nice over the texture that I had. My forehead looks good. The coverage lasted, like it's not rubbing off anywhere. It still looks really good. So this little profusion um, feels good or feel good skin, a long wear skin perfecter with hyaluronic acid, medium to full coverage, natural satin finish, and I love that finish by the way. SPF 15 is getting a thumbs up from me, guys. Next time you're in Walmart, take a stroll through the makeup aisle and consider picking up this little Profusion foundation. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. I recommend applying it first with a brush. I liked that method of application better than I did the fingertips. And it does say to apply it either way. I always like to go in after I get done with the makeup brush with a damp beauty sponge just to pat out any creases and that work just fine. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this new Profusion Foundation. Is it on your list to try? Maybe you tried it already or maybe you're about to go get it. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water and i will see you all very soon bye